Luke chapter 16 verse 13 no servant can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he would love be loyal to the one and despise the other you cannot serve God and mama you cannot serve God man, man, God and money our worldly possessions God have a plan that set goes within. For God has a plan that set goes within. The name of this song, if I stay away from the Lord one day, what would happen? Let's get with the Lord, our Savior, and don't stay away from Him. The rich man and, the, and Lazarus, in Luke chapter 16, Lazarus, though sick, Poor and ill stays in the Lord. For God has a plan that set goes within. But the rich man rely on his wealth and his and disregard God, disregard God and com, and the compassion for the poor. Luke chapter 16, verse 13 and on. Eternal life, you see it about eternal life or eternal death, eternal domination. So when you serve Jesus Christ, you have eternal life. And Jesus, that's what Jesus addressed here in Luke chapter 16, verse 13. You cannot serve two masters. You have to, to serve God. Or, or serve mama, money, the worldly position. No, the Pharisees, after you tell them that the Pharisees who were lovers of money also heard all these things and they deride Jesus. They scrutinized Jesus. And he said unto them, you are those who justify yourself before men but to God but God knows your heart but what is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God for God has a plan that settles within the law and the prophets were until John since that time the kingdom of God has been preached and everyone is pressed into it and it is easier for heaven and earth to pass away than for one tittle of the law or the word of God to fail. Whosoever divorces his wife and marry another commits adultery. And whoever marries her who is divorced from her husband commits adultery. For God has a plan that settles we did. For God has a plan that settles there was a certain rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and fear and feared sumptuously every day he was rich he have everything but there was a certain beggar named Lazarus full of sores who was laid at his gate desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table moreover the dogs came and licked his sores so it was that the beggar died and was carried by the angels to the Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And being in torments in Hades in hell, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. Then he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am tormented in this flame. But, but Abraham said, Son, remember that in your lifetime you receive your good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and you are tormented. He's in hell. The rich man is in hell, tormented. And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that those who want to pass from here to you cannot, nor can those that from there pass to us. Then he said, I beg you, therefore, Father, that you would send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, that he may testify to them, lest they also come to this place of torment, lest they come to hell. Abraham said to him, They have Moses and the prophets, and nowadays the Bible, the, the apostles teach it. Matthew to the revelation let them hear the word of God let them hear them and he said no father father Abraham 
but if one comes goes to them from the dead they will repent but he said father Abraham said to the man in hell if they do not hear Moses and the prophets or listen to the word of God the Bible neither will they be persuaded though one rise from the dead for God has the plan that settles me if I stay away from the Lord one day, I will surely delay a part of my way where Jesus should call me to receive my crown. I would be downhearted because I'm done wrong. But if I obey, and go all the way The promise he made Would be short on my way How happy I am To be on war Receiving my crown So bright and whole If I stay away From the Lord one day I would surely delay a very important part of my way for if Jesus should call me to give me my crown I would be downhearted because I'm done wrong Lord stay with the Lord don't stay away from him he came to wash away our sins protect and keep you deep within you'll be caught up with, I said you'll be caught up to heaven be with him you'll enjoy everlasting life in him I said God has a plan that settles within the ultimate plan stay with him the original plan no one can change but the king if I stay away from the Lord one day imagine this I would surely delay a very good part of the, my way but if Jesus should call me to give me my crown I would be downhearted because I've done wrong but if I obey and go all the way the promise he made would be short on my way. How happy I am to be unwoke, receiving my crown so bright and whole. So it pays to serve the Lord in truth. It pays to serve the Lord in truth. And be faithful to him and trust him more. My reward will be greater than I think. For God has a plan that settles within. For God has a plan that settles within. The ultimate plan is to stay settled. So the ultimate plan is to stay with him. Yes, yes, yes. Plan number one is the original thing. The original plan no one can change but the king. So always best things to wait on him. Try not to. Try not to go away. But wait on him. Don't try anything. Stick to the purpose and you'll always win. If I stay away from the Lord. One day I would surely delay the very best part of my way. But if Jesus should call me to give me my crown, I would be downhearted because of the wrong. Stay with the Lord, don't mess up. And if you do, repent and turn back to Him. But stay with Him like Lazarus. 
no matter what your situation, stay with the king. 